Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Aberration. We're over here in the Fertile Forest again by our original base. I got a trap set up. This is going to be for the Ravagers, and I'm on the frog. You can kind of see one there. There's two packs that actually merge together back there, and that one, I think, is one of the females, the 108. And then there's a 112 or a 118 male over there. So what we got to try to do is get them to where we can get them all into here. I'd like to separate them if possible, but the frog has plenty of hops, so he'll be able to jump right over this and not have a problem. All we got to do is get them to aggro us. And which one are you? Okay, so that is the 108 female, so let's go ahead and grab her and get her in the bin. And if we can just get them all in here, we'll be able to kill off the ones that we don't want. The main thing is, let's get them all in. The walls, I use, so I use doorways for the walls, that way I can shoot through them, and they are too high. That way, they, uh, they can't jump out of it. So we need to get a male, either the 108 male or the 118, whatever it is that's back here. I think that's them over there. Tell you what, let's eat some mushrooms before we go into this area. Oh yeah, let me show you. So I got only 11 of the shocking trank darts made up. That's all the biotoxin I had. It takes so long to farm that by hand without a dino. And I brought some regular ammo just to kill them off. And then I have 63 of the trank darts, regular ones. Like I said, just because I didn't have enough of the stuff to make the trank darts, the shocking ones. Let's go ahead. See if we can't find these guys. Oh, there they are. They're right there. One eighteen male. There we go. Oh, and they're coming for us. Oh, we got all three of them. Ah, oh, dang it. I was hoping to get them separate. All right, guys. Let's just bring all of you. Oh wait, we we lost left one behind. Oh, we left two of them behind. Let's let's go ahead and get this one over here. <gasps> Easy. Just because I don't know which one it is. The the more we can keep them out, the better. Oh, I saw him coming. So that's a twelve. So we can kill the gray one off. Let's go ahead and get our ammo loaded. Oh, dude! Oh, man, I was hoping to not get bleeding. I need to see what level the other one is. The gray one we can kill for sure. Take a look real quick. Oh, and it's 76. I tell you what, let's kite both of these off the waterfall. How about that? Come on, guys. And that'll just leave us that other 118 that we need to bring into the trap. Got to watch out for the spinos down there. Is that going to make them fall in? Oh, they're stuck. Come on, guys, this way. Jump off the waterfall. There you go. Oh, dude. <laughs> I think one went down. Oh, we went down. Are they both down there? No, nah, just one. The other one's stuck. Dude, jump off the edge. I'll kill you. It doesn't matter. You're low enough level. I need the meat anyways because I forgot to bring my prime meat with me. Alright, cool. I think the other one fell down the side there. So let's go grab this other one. Oh, nice. Is that him? What level are you, buddy? level 118. All right. You come with me, please. 
No, don't run that way. I forgot. Whenever they're by themselves, they do that sometimes. Oh, wait. Now he's coming. Dude, don't play with me like that. I hope he doesn't lose aggro and go for the parasers. Oh man, frog meat's better than that meat anyways. Nice, we got them both in there. Alright, let's put everything on passive. And it doesn't matter which one- oh dude. It doesn't matter which one we shoot first. We just need to make sure we shoot one. Kind of curious how these shocking ones will work versus the regulars. Dude, that's... <laughs> I know they can't get out, but man, that's that's slightly terrifying. Hopefully those things don't get bit because if they mess this up... Dude! I said passive, man. I guess if I run out of Trank Darts, I can use the Frog to knock him out because he's got that Torpor that he gives. I'm not really worried about headshots, man. I just want to get these guys both knocked out. Ah, oh, I missed that one totally. Man, would you guys go somewhere, please? This whole area here, and you gotta be like right up on me? I'm just saying, oh, no ammo, what? Well, there's the shocky ones all gone. They sure didn't last. All right, there's one down. Nice. And that took a lot of the tranks. I don't know why I just didn't walk in here before to keep him into one corner. I think what I should grab some meat and start him going while we're waiting. All right, buddy. Nibble on that a little bit while I knock your friend out over here. Nice! They're both down. Awesome. And we've only got 17 left on the darts. Let's go ahead. Throw some regular meat in you as well. Change this out. Wonder if it's even going to be worth it to try to... Kill one of those. You get some prime meat. What level are you, buddy? Level eight. Should be able to take them out. I don't know how much health they got. Don't destroy my base. Oh, dude! Well, mistakes have been made, man. Get off my base! Watch, I'm gonna have both those Ravagers tamed before... Ah, oh, here he goes. I say I have both of them tamed by the time I get rid of him. Now give me that prime meat. It's gonna be more prime meat than I'll need. Nice, nice. Oh, it's getting towards nighttime. Good thing we have a light pet. All right, buddy, let me change this out. We'll leave one stack in there in case he runs out of prime meat. I don't think he will, though. Actually, I might as well just give it all to him because all I was going to do is spoil in my inventory. Dude, I can't believe that Paris, sir, started tearing up our base. It's rude, man, I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to sit here and let them tame up. I'm probably going to go into the water here, play with the trilomites a little bit. Trilobites, whatever they're called, man. And try to get some more oil. Speaking of that, there's one right here. Well, there's one of our Ravagers. And good thing we didn't uh, get this thing destroyed because I totally forgot to make some saddles. Need a little bit more fiber. Oh, dude, we're not, not going to have enough hide. How much hide are we missing? Dude, that's a lot of hide, man. Maybe I'll... I don't know what I would do. How much are we missing of everything? 
So a little bit of fiber and need about 140 more hide. Hmm. What level is that other Pariser? There's old Raptor Claws. We could try to take out that other one. I totally got a glider suit, man. I don't know why. <laughs> I just fell. Um, let's put that on you. We'll cryopod you to get you out of there. So tamed out to be a level 161. Not the best, but not too bad. And there's the other one. Let's throw you out there. And we will use you to take out this Pariser. Get a little bit more hide. We'll make the other saddle, and then I'll probably just go ahead and cryopod the frog. And I'll just ride the Ravagers back to base. We're going to be using them for breeding. So I'm not exactly wanting to put too many levels into them. I mean, I probably will, just because we'll have them around base. But until we get the new little one, it's not really worth it. <gasps> Dude, I got no hide from that. Wait, why did I get no high while I was on the Ravager? Interesting. Little weird. And there's an earthquake. Let's see what level this other one is back here. Level 12, it'll work. I know, Raptor Claws. Don't be teasing me, man. I can't get up topside yet. I mean, we could. We could, could, could get up there, but it's just... Gotta work about the Reapers and stuff. Alright, don't do anything, man. Passive, please. No! Tell you what, they're not listening to whistle commands very much. But there's all the hide that we need. Nice. A little bit of fiber. Have some red gems, please. You guys keep shaking the screen with these earthquakes, and all I want is just a little bit of red gems. Alright, we'll just leave this one down here, and we'll just go up the ladder to get back up top. I know, buddy, just hang tight there for a minute, man. Alright, one more Ravager saddle. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's get rid of all this extra stuff too, we don't need it. Might as well leave the hide here, just in case. All right, buddy, let's get this saddle on you and take a look, see what you are. See how their stats turned out too. What am I doing? It's kind of weird how I can jump across it with me, but they can't. So they get a pack bonus still, since we have them. And the more you have, the more the, the pack bonus you get. Turn off follow, let me grab my frog before something happens. That bear is wandering around here. Last thing I want to do is get that aggro from it and have it start tearing stuff up. Into the cryopod for a little bit, buddy. Wait, what did you drop? Ooh, stuff that we do want. That's a lot of cementy paste. Alright, so, for the male, he teamed out to be a 176. So, 2800 on the health, 1500 on the stamina, weight is 690, and damage is 279. And for the female, level 161. Health is 1840, that is less. Stamina is 1120. Weight is 730, and damage is 279. So it looks like the damage came out the same, and the movement speed. 1120 on the stamina, and 730 on weights. 15. The female has better weight, the male has better stamina. And better health, of course. So hopefully we can get the health, weight, and damage is a main thing I want whenever we go ahead and breed them. 
Oh, let's change the follow distance real quick before we head back to base. Um, where's it at? Let's do lowest. We want to keep it as close as we can. Yeah, there we go. That should be right on us and not get lost. It's kind of hard when you have more than one Ravager when you start using zip lines. Because sometimes it'll get too far back, and whenever you jump on one, it'll like <laughs> it'll actually just run off the edge of a cliff. There's an aberrant raptor there. Maybe we can avoid it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna run back to base and probably. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, dude, I got dismounted. What? Dude, you guys do something. That's what you get, Raptor. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to base. I need to get these guys set up and try to get one bread ravager out. That way we can have one to start going up topside with. I'd like to... Which way do we go? I think it's this way. I'd like to go ahead and start getting the stuff we need for a hazmat suit so we can start venturing down in. And I need to start prepping for a Megalosaurus tame. I'm probably going to just tame a Parasaur off camera so that I can get biotoxin a little bit better because we do want to be using shocking trank darts when we go to do the Megalosaurus. Guys, please don't take that much fall damage. I went the wrong way. There we go. All right. Going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. We did get our Ravagers. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.